first of all open our data files uh, here uh, these files are not showing uh, you have to do all files here then open then click on this files press control and then click on this particular files and then open so okay these are the narrow scan spectra of the particular element so here is the express survey spectrum so if you want to uh, know how many elements are present in your uh, uh, this material for your sample so click on here Go to this and click here. So you will get a table in which all the possible elements which are present in your material will show here. Okay. So your mat this material has a oxygen, carbon, silicon, nitrogen. Okay. Suppose your uh, material has a any particular element concentration you know the particular concentration but uh, it not coming here so in that case you have to again select this go to this id and simply click here suppose my catalyst having the cobalt and uh, this uh, also my catalyst having the nickel my material having the cobalt and nickel but it not coming uh, in this table so such elements you can select here and uh, add fix no, yeah, add, add fix okay okay these fix are added now close so you can see here the atomic percentage of the all the elements are shown here and also nickel having a very low concentration which is about 0 0.11 atomic percent so okay now uh, we will do the Pick fitting. So first of all, we will do the uh, pick fitting for this carbon can. So here, this means it is selected. Uh, if you want to select this one, click on this. You will get selected to the uh, this oxygen. Uh, one is uh, spectra will be se selected if you click on this particular spectra. So now I want to do. Uh, carbon one is uh, express fitting so click here and here are the here are the two tools uh, this is uh, for uh, minimize to this particular spectrum and this is for the maximize so i want to maximize this spectrum so i will make it a big so before the express fitting you have to you should know the exact value of the particular picks Suppose carbon 0, carbon 1, carbon plus 2, carbon plus 3, or maybe. The exact value uh, you have to know from the uh, repeated literature. Okay. And here also this software given a, a one a extra benefit to you uh, to without any literature survey, you can know the exact values of the particular oxidation state of the particular element. Okay. So only go anywhere on this spectrum click right button go to this show express knowledge for this spectrum okay now here here you can see uh, the binding energy values of the particular uh, oxygen state of the carbon is given here suppose your carbon is bonded with the another carbon so uh, it will appear at 284.8 suppose carbon your carbon is connected to the another oxygen, then it will be 286. Here also, you can see zero oxidation state, plus one, plus three. So here, the oxidation state of this carbon is increasing. According to that, 
uh, binding energy is also increasing. Okay. Uh, yeah. so, uh, here they given uh, many values, binding energy values for the carbon. Carbon, carbon, 24, 8. Here. And here you can see, here is a carbon oxygen, here is a carbon fluorine. But the value of the carbon, which is connected to the fluorine atom, is very high, 292 as compared to the this one. It indicate as uh, your uh, element, your atom, your carbon will connect to the more electronegative, then value of the uh, value of this carbon will uh, automatically increase. It means more electronegative group if attached to carbon, then uh, binding energy value will be more positive. Okay. So, SP2 carbon 24 and SP3 carbon 24.8. Also, if your uh, carbon uh, is connected to the metal, bonded to the metal, in such case, cases, value will be lower. 283. Okay, now we will do the specifying. So, here are two uh, uh, grids are given. Uh, two data are given. Here uh, you can see data grid. So here, uh, this is a uh, word data and it's the express knowledge view. Okay. Now, here you getting maxima of this peak, 84.8. So, go to the peak fitting. Now, I want to fit peak inside this uh, spectrum. So, go to this peak fitting yellow addition. I, I, I try to fit two of peaks. Click here. Okay. It, It automatically detect at a single peak. Now you can see one extra possible peak is, is also here. Okay. Then again, add a single peak. Okay. Uh, here two possible peaks are uh, two peaks are possible inside of this main spectrum. It means your uh, carbon is uh, two oxidation states. Or uh, it is connected to the two different elements, maybe carbon oxygen and this is for carbon carbon. Okay. Again, go to the fit fix with this level. It automatically get fit. Do here some. Okay. Then okay. You can see here and this. Uh, uh, line uh, indicate the how accurately you fitted your peaks inside this main spectrum. If this uh, blue line, this blue line, uh, this noise you getting here, you fit uh, going to parallel to this black line, it means you have fitted your peaks accurately. Okay, we have fitted here. So again, you can see. Which type of carbon is present in your elements? This peak is getting at this 284.8. You can see here this. It means your uh, carbon is connected to the carbon. Another peak you getting at which value? Around 287. This peak. It means Carbon is connected to the oxygen and carbon is connected to the carbon. Two carbons are present in your material. Okay. Now I will uh, tell you how to modify this spectrum. So, first, uh, I don't want this line. So, I want to go to this display option. Uh, this is for if you don't want this indication, carbon 1s this scan be carbon 1s scan scanning. Click on this, it will be good. 
I don't want this. Then click here. Toggle residuals. It will be good. So okay, I want to modify this uh, now. So right click. Go anywhere. Don't uh, want to go any particular position. Go anywhere on this spectrum. Click right button and then go to the chart chart property. Here all properties are present. So first of all, I have to do access property changes. So this axis scale. I want to uh, minimize this scale. Two ninety two to the two eighty one. Two ninety two to the two eighty one. And do apply. Apply. Then I want to change this title. You can see this binding energy down per second, per second. Uh, I want to do modification to this one. So I want this suppose serial black in. You can see here. This titles are also modified. Again, I want to change the line width of this axis. X and this is the Y. So to change a shear, this is the for X, this is the for Y. Happy. And now I want this notation. Uh, I want to modify this notation into this one. For serial, then like suppose I want to modify this. You can see. Now suppose I want to change this uh, uh, spectrum line width. Here also you can change the color of this particular uh, titles also. Here, access style go here, and you want to change this uh, change to blue. Click here, x axis, uh, y axis. Now I want to change the color of this x axis. Here in access access property, uh, you can uh, get all uh, things what you want. It's a supposed thing. What you want according to the you, you can change. Now I want to change, I want to modify these uh, graphs. Go to the chart property. Here, chart, go to the chart style. Go to the line style. And increase here line width. Suppose I want to. Here, uh, from here you can change color also then to apply. So you can see. Now suppose I want uh, to do box border. Go to the control to the border. Make here plain. You, you go border here also. You can see. All properties are here. Only you have to open chart properties. You can get all things here. I do okay. Okay, I have fitted this one. Uh, suppose you want to fit all this spectrum, so according to that, you have to. So, I am not going to tell about uh, uh, fitting of all this spectrum. So, now I am directly going to the how to download this data. Okay, <laughs> here are many options. If you want to download this. Only one spectrum, then click on only one spectrum for a uh, one particular spectrum. Now I want to uh, download all these spectrums, all this data. So click here. It means you selected all this spectrum. Then go to the reporting. Now here this is the for word. This is the for uh, Excel and this is the for a uh, one uh, photo image. So if I want to open uh, in a word file and click here, click here. So, uh, in below bar, uh, in below taskbar, we will we'll get the word file. Click on this word, but word file. So, here you can see the data downloaded. Okay. Now, I want to download in Excel file. Okay, this is the for Word file, this is the for Excel file. Go to this, 
click here open uh, see at taskbar here you will get the file representation and click on this then you will get the open excel file I fitted this carbon one now, so I will show this carbon one. And from here, you can uh, copy paste and uh, you can adjust accordingly your requirement uh, in the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Here are also two options are possible. If uh, your uh, Word file or Excel file is previously open, then only click here and go to this and here your file will be show which is already open okay in uh, for same uh, for same uh, excel file also so okay uh, thank you so if you have any likes suppose uh, sorry <laughs> if you have uh, any doubt then uh, comment me.